Hi everyone, and welcome to another Ginkgo tutorial. My name is Zero, and I'll be your instructor for these lessons. So, as you can see in this episode of Let's Make Clothes, I'm going to be working with the um, util, util, utilizer, utilizer. Do you know what the kimono company's called? The one, the company that makes the kimonos. I don't know. Utilizer? 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 Uh, the co we're working with the kimono avatar today. So, um, <laughs> if anybody knows how to properly pronounce that, I would be very grateful to know how it's done. Because I'm trying to butcher on it. <laughs> so, we're going to be working with the kimono um, avatar today. And we've done classes before with the kimono. But as we're updating all of our old tutorials, it was only natural that we would go back and revisit the kimono. Plus, we learned a lot since we made that tutorial. And we got a whole sea of dev kits uh, to work with with this project. So, um, let's dive in and tell you all the stuff that you'll be needing to uh, follow along with this tutorial. Um, first thing you need is a copy of Blender. If you're just starting out with Blender, I suggest you use Blender 2.72. That's my signature Blender and that's what I'll be using during this. So if I do some things, and um, it may look different if you're using a different version. So if you're following along with me, try downloading a copy of 2.72 because that's what I suggest. I'm also using a copy of Avastar. Um, I'm using Avastar 1.71. Uh, sparkles is kind of optional, but it's always good to have that. You're going to need a copy of uh, Remove Unused Vertex Group Script. If you did the Kimono, not the Kimono, um, if you did the Solarian tutorial or the Snaggle Tooth tutorial, then you should already have the script. If you don't have that script, then check the description um, and you should be able to download it from there as well as pretty much everything else that I use. Uh, we're going to be using Marvelous Designer, of course. I'm using Marvelous Designer 2. And I feel like I'm forgetting something else. Hmm. Well, it is optional to have a copy of Marvelous, not Marvelous Designer, of uh, Avastar uh, 2.0 of some form. Uh, Avastar 2. Uh, only because we're going to be working with the Star Bright Fit Mesh Body, Fit Mesh Torso. And that requires Avastar 2.0 of some degree. And I did try to convert the kit that we're using so that it works in Avastar uh, 1. Point, uh, Avastar 1, but sometimes you may experience like uh, well, when I first did it, uh, I noticed that my neck was going up into my head, so I had to take the dev kit and then put it in Avastar 2 and export it, and then I never had that problem again. So I saved it after it was fixed that way, so that may correct it, but if you run into any problems when you're trying to export um, on the fit mesh body uh, torso, you may need to have Avastar 2.0. Um, I feel like I'm forgetting another program that we're using, but I'm pretty sure that I covered it all. If not, just look in the description and I'll write down what we're using. So that's it for our super long intro. I like to keep these um, fairly short. But um, oh yeah, there is a warning I forgot. Um, Today, as you saw me talking in the background, husband's with us again today in another tutorial. I figure since we're doing kimonos and he's such a kimono fanboy, <laughs> that it would be nice to have one in the gallery today. Also, he's playing um, Breath of the Wild, so you may hear some screaming, cursing, or, you know, all around killing sounds. That's just him. Oh, and the washing machine is going. You know, I only do tutorials on laundry day. That way I can not be in bed. Because if the unless the blankets are in the washing machine, that's the only way I'm getting out of bed. So you may hear the washing machine going or screaming and screeching in the background. So prepare your ears for that. Okay, so now that we have all of that settled, I think it's time that we dive into the tutorial and start you know tutorialing and learning so let's start and I'll see you guys over in blender 